If you've been watching this series of videos about the Monaco Yacht Club's Energy Boat Challenge, you'll know that it's an event designed to motivate universities and companies to find different ways to provide energy to boats that don't involve burning fossil fuels. Now, one of the classes in this event is called the Open Sea Class. It's for vessels that are already on the market or about to enter the market. And it involves them going through a course in between Ventimiglia and Monaco. It's a 16 nautical mile course, really designed to test their performance and their range. Here are a couple of the competitors in that class. TU Delft Hydro Motion Team. The TU Delft Hydro Motion Team first investigated the power of hydrogen in 2021. They explored the possibilities of powering a boat using this abundant energy and found it to offer enormous potential. Not only is hydrogen a clean fuel, but it has an energy density that's 235 times greater than lithium ion batteries ensuring lightweight propulsion. Now, in 2020, the TU Delft Hydro team were set on improving the performance of their hydrogen boat, and so they opted to refit their 2019 vessel, reusing the three hulls of their trimaran, which was originally designed as a flying solar boat. TU Delft replaced their solar panels with nets and installed a hydrogen system and a cap on top of the boat which gave the vessel aerodynamism to the maximum. The cap and the holes were constructed from carbon fiber to ensure that weight was kept to a minimum and the vessel could handle rough conditions at sea. Weighing in at 1,000 kilograms, TU Delft's 2020 boat flew above the water at up to 40 kilometers an hour. With such a commitment to pushing the boundaries of what hydrogen fuel can do, it'll be very exciting to see what TU Delft brings to the contest this year. Vita Yachts. Inspired by tradition, powered by electricity is the motto of Vita Yachts. Founded in 2017, Vita Yachts have gone from strength to strength, developing 100% electrical powered boats that are not only environmentally friendly, but offer immediate controllable power comparable to fossil fuel powered vessels. Vita first made waves at the Monaco Energy Boat Challenge in 2018, when they entered their inaugural design, the Vita 9, and won the Open Sea Challenge, setting a speed record along the way. The latest vessel to come from the Vita Yacht Shipyard is Lion. At 10 and a half meters long, Lion is the first premium full production electric boat. Reaching speeds of up to 35 knots, Lion is powered by the company's all electric V4 propulsion system, which incorporates Vita's proprietary throttle and touchscreen technology. The charging time takes less than an hour, which is fast when compared to some electric cars, which can take up to eight hours. Should the sea conditions be good, Vita Yachts is sure to put on a real display of how the yachting of tomorrow is already here today. Actually, I know the CEO of Vita Yachts quite well, so if you'd like me to arrange for a live stream with him so that you can ask him your own questions, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to put that together. Really, that's it for the series of vlogs about the Energy Boat Challenge, but you'll be pleased to know that I actually attended the event a few days ago and I'm putting together a video to show you more details of what actually happened during the event with the competitors and the various designs of the yachts. I'll be releasing that next Friday. Make sure you don't miss out on it. And as you know, if you want to be sure not to miss out, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon too.